needs his hearing checked. He sure as shit didn't hear our prayers tonight. Yeah, well, probably figured we're too stupid to hell and then spent more than we could ever win. Come on. Let's get some quarters for the laundromat. Are you going right now? Well, I got to or the kid's gonna have to start repeating their underwear. Jesus. Come on. I got to get my tubes tied. I know you both have been through a, a very long and painful process in trying to conceive. And believe me, every couple that comes in here feels a, a certain sense of loss. But choosing the option of adopting should not be viewed as some personal defeat. My gosh, it's one of the most positive, rewarding things you'll ever do in life. Question. Go ahead. Rachel and I have very differing views on humanity. She's a believer in nurture. I'm a believer in nature. Richard is afraid that we're not going to get a high quality child. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I don't know what I'm saying. Look, we all know what kind of people answer baby ads. These women, for the most part, they're uneducated. Their lives are a mess. They're poor. Poor has nothing to do with it. I'm just trying to go over the options. What options? There are no options. We're still a little torn. Absolutely. Look, you don't have to make up your mind now. Go home and talk it over, regroup. Are your kids adopted? Richard, for God's sakes. I know, I'm being a pain. Look, if Rachel feels this is a good idea, I trust her instincts. I need you to think about this. Honey, what's there to think about? What are our choices? We're getting old. I'd still like to be alive when our kid goes to college. <laughs> uh, well. Well, I'm real proud of you. That's good. Okay. All right, now, I want y'all to go to bed now. Mm, well, I don't think that's a good idea, honey. What'd your grandma say? Well, let me ask your daddy. Al. What? Kim wants to sleep outside tonight. What for? Well, he says Robbie's been peeing in the bed again. I mean, it's raining. He's gonna get a whole hell of a lot wetter out there and he is lying in the goddamn bed. Oh, no, uh, honey. It's raining. Where are you going to go? Oh, he says he'll sleep in Grandma's car. Tell him he can if he locks the doors. Your daddy says you can if you lock the doors. Mm-hmm. But you ask your grandma for a pillow. OK. OK, sugar, now put Patricia on so I can say good night. Hello. Kid? Hello? Hey, uh the phone go out? What you think, Al? Well, I thought we had another day. <sighs> I didn't say goodnight to Betty. I got to say goodnight to my Betty. You want me to drive you to the phone? Mm-hmm. Al. What? I think you better take a look at this. Hey, Cheryl. So, um, how's your health? Uh, do you have a history of any... Uh... Oh, I see. Uh-huh. No, I, I think that is very admirable of you. So, how long have you been sober? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Now, um, let's see. Uh, due date. Let's see. August 1st? So this was a sudden decision? Well, um, what made you feel that you really couldn't keep the child? Yeah. Um, hmm. Now, what about the birth father? Okay. Now, have you kept in touch with him? What's he in prison for? Jesus. Um, oh, Cheryl, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Could you hold on a minute? I'm going to have to put you on hold on another call.
Uh, so, um, what about your husband? Yeah. Six three, green eyes. Oh. Um, what does he do for a living? He's a pipe fitter. So is he working at the present? Um, yeah. Oh, no, no, I understand. I mean, it's been a tough year. Perfect. Wanda, my husband is standing right here, and I know he would really love to say hi to you. Do you don't like her. Hello, Wanda. Excuse me, um, could you tell me where I find Al and Wanda LaFoe? Last trailer on this row, on your left. Okay, thank you so much. The truck's not there, I don't think they're home. Okay, thank you. They were perfect, perfect. Oh, good. Where's your husband? Oh, he was back at the motel, just finishing up some work. Yeah, well, I sent Al out for some pots. Oh. I guess it's just us girls. <laughs> oh, it's so great to finally well, meet you. Well, it's good to meet you, too. These sure. are for you. Well, ain't these pretty? Uh, Come on in. Watch your step in our humble home oh. here. Oh, this is lovely. Thank you. Put oh, these flowers and something before they fall over from the heat. Have you lived here long? Uh. About five years. Of course, this is only temporary. As soon as Al finds better employment, we'll be moving to a bigger place. Well, where are your children? Do they live here with you? Oh, no, they're staying at my mama's for now. She's got more room. She's got a big yard for them to play in. Uh, you want something to drink, some lemonade? Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yard is so important, especially when you have active kids. Yeah. Are these your children? Yeah, oh, that's uh, Brian, the blonde, <laughs> and Kevin, and Patricia's a girl, and that baby's little Robbie. Oh, they're great. <laughs> great looking kids. Thank oh. you. They're real good kids. How old is Patricia? She's 12. She'll be 13 in November. Oh, really? Oh, she's got such long legs. Yeah. Is she athletic? 
Ah, uh, she can run pretty good. Oh, Richard and I have such short legs. We always said that if we ever had a child of our own, we'd just have a waist and a pair of feet. <laughs> oh, my daddy's got pretty long legs, and Al's got real long legs. Oh, great. Um, I set lunch for us. Being so hot, I made a cold cut plate. I hope that's okay if you won't come have a seat. Oh, thank you. I just... Oh, great. Oh, fan feels wonderful. Yeah, oh, good. I'll move this plate. Your husband's not coming. Oh. Yes, Al. Oh. Oh. Aren't you nice? Oh, thank you. Isn't that lovely? Well, it's no problem. I, I didn't know if you wanted to eat or not after that long flight. So, how do you like that doctor? How do you like that doctor we found you? Oh, he's just the nicest man. Well, we spoke to him last week. He says you are doing so well. Oh, well, I sure do like him a lot. Oh, I almost forgot. I got you more of those prenatal vitamins. Oh, well, thank you. I didn't know if you needed any more, but I got you some anyway. Well, I stopped taking them, actually. Oh, really? Why? Oh, um, uh, they were stuffing me up. You mean you lost your appetite? Oh, no, I still like to eat. Uh, I just, I couldn't get rid of nothing. Constipation? Mm-hmm. Oh, what did Dr. Selby say? Oh, he said I'm fine, baby's doing fine, so I didn't ask him nothing about the vitamins. Well, you might ask him if maybe he could, um, have you take something else? Well, uh, I never took those things before, and none of my kids ever suffered for it, so. Well, I'm sure he'll say exactly the same thing. Anyway, it's fine. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Hey, Chloe. Give me a daiquiri. Summer. The only way we've been able to cool the kids off is to sit them in the pizza place. Uh, here, you rub an ice cube on your neck or wrist, it'll help to cool you off. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I wonder, didn't our lawyer send you a check for an air conditioner? Oh, yes, he did. Thank you. Where's it? Oh, well, we didn't have quite enough for an air conditioner, so we bought a real nice fan. Oh, I thought he sent you $500. Wasn't that enough? Uh, well, Al was the one that looked. You can ask him when he comes back. All right. Oh, um, I got something to show you. Uh, the doctor gave me a picture of the baby at my last examination. Oh, God. It was taken a week ago. Oh. Oh, my God. I hope you wanted a girl. Oh, it's a little girl. Richard's gonna go crazy. Oh, good. You never know. A lot of people want boys. Well, we wanted a girl. 
Well, good. Doctor said she's doing real good. He measured her with that machine, and he said everything was fine. Did I take this? This is Shaw Richard. Oh, no, you can have it if you want. Oh. It's not like me and Al are going to put it up on the fridge or anything. Well, I'm going to treasure this. Wanda, I hope you know that this baby's going to get a lot of love. Well, I can give the baby love. I know how to do that. But you know kids want things. They see other kids with a brand new bike and stuff, and they wonder why they can't have that, too. That's what we got the problem with. Oh, please, let me help you here. No, oh, no. Shouldn't be too many of us moving around. Just make it hotter. You just sit down and relax, right, John? Oh. Keep telling Al, as soon as we get some money, I want to go in and get my tubes tied. We talked to your lawyer about maybe helping out with the operation, just money-wise, you know. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. Wanda, have you ever used birth control? Well, yeah. What'd you use? Diaphragm, of course. Al sometimes don't give me time to put it in. <laughs> I tell him I want him to wear protection, but he says he don't want to wear no overcoat. Well, maybe you should just go in the pill. Well, pill don't work, seems to me. I think the problem is that I'm just too fertile for birth control. Well, maybe you just got to get a little tougher with old Al. <sighs> He's a man. What are you going to do? <sighs> Have you ever thought of just not going through with any of these pregnancies? Oh, Lord, I could never do that. It would haunt me the rest of my days knowing I killed my own baby. Yeah. No, I, I, I can understand how you feel that way. You and your husband go to church, Rachel? Yes, we go to temple. We're Jewish, actually. Well, I don't care. As long as you celebrate Christmas, I think it's real important for a child to have that. Sure. We can do that. Have a small tree. We have Santa Claus? Sure. Well, good. We have Easter. We do that? Sure, we could do that. And we'll also celebrate Passover. Uh -huh. Oh, it is a wonderful event. We have a Seder, which is a a kind of special dinner in which we celebrate the Jews escaping from Egypt. And, you know, it really isn't just a Jewish event. It really celebrates the concept of freedom and liberation for everyone. A lot of our non-Jewish friends attend. And, you know, you, sh you know, if you ever get the chance, you should really, um, you should really go to a Seder because you'd really enjoy it. It's, um, Will we still have chocolate bunnies and jelly beans and all? Sure, why not? Good. Well, I'm glad we talked about this. Me too. Hey, you won't meet my kids. Uh, right now? Well, you got air conditioning in that car? Uh-huh. Oh, well, good. Let's go for a ride, cool off. Hey, lady. Want to buy a cat? Can I have one of these cats for 50 cents? Oh, no, thanks. I don't want any. What's the matter? Don't you like pussy? Ooh. Oh, here. Oh, no, let me have probably the bell. Oh, that's OK. I'm not that delicate. But where's your car? Um, it's right down there, I front. Which I guess is this way. Oh, no, sure. Cut this way. Oh, OK. Oh, come on. Not much better out here, is it? Yeah. Oh, I wish the had a pool to use. Oh, okay. Um, Y'all have a pool at your house back in LA? Uh, yeah, a, li a, li a, a little one. Mm hmm. Well, I'll be nice. The baby can swim in it when she's older. Uh -huh. We got a sprinkler that cools off the kids. <laughs> Your car? Shut up! Shut up! Here we go. I, uh, 
troops. Oh, boy, that air felt good in that car. Oh. Rachel, uh -huh. um, my mama doesn't know anything about this whole deal yet, so I'm just going to tell her somebody is. Oh, I, I thought you said your mother knew. Well, no, I hadn't discussed it with her yet, but she's going to be taking care of the kids when I'm in the hospital, so, you know, I figure I'd just tell her baby was stillborn. Well, I really wish that you had discussed this with me before. Mama, well, mama, no, I am. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, boys. Hey, we got company. I want you to say hi. This is Rachel. Hi. She's a friend of your daddy's, Brian and Kevin. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, Where's baby? Patty? Oh, okay. This is oh, Robbie. Oh. Say hi. Say hi to Rachel, Robbie. Oh, no, no, there's nothing in there. No, no, honey, there's nothing in Don't there. Don't you? Okay. Honey, you can't take ladies' oh, purses yeah. now. Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. The cat? Let's go in here. Many dentists charge as much as $500. You know, y'all be careful. Don't you jump on the go Don't worry. Hi, I'm Van. Hey, Mama. Hey, Miss Nady. Is that my Wanda? I've been praying for you. Got a baby girl in your basket. Your mama says that's what you want. Yeah, well, whatever I get's fine with me. <laughs> yeah, well, the last thing I need is another little pecker tearing up this house. Mama, this is Rachel. She's friend of somebody Al knows in California, Miss Maddie. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. How do you do? Hello? You a newscaster? Oh. <laughs> No, no. Don't she look like that girl on Channel 4? Yeah, she does a little. No, she works in the movies. She's one of them people calls the stars on the phone, gets them to be in her picture. Is that right? Uh -huh. Well, well, you could say that. But people used to say I look like Natalie Wood. Is she still alive? Oh, no, honey, she drowned in a lake, poor thing. Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, Penny out back. Yeah, she's out practicing her tumbling. Uh, Where's Al? Oh, well, he went out for some pop. Well, I need him to look at the water here. Okay. The water's running brown again. Mama, I'll talk to him. He's not your slave. Well, there she is. That's my girl. She's lovely, Wanda. She's kind of shy. You want to talk to oh, her? No, no, no. I, I don't want to make her feel uncomfortable. She loves to watch ice skating on the TV. She's always saying, Mama, I could do that. Of course, there's a rank over in Shreveport, but we can't pay for the lessons. I wasn't hitting you up for the money or anything. Oh, I know that one. Well, now you know what the girls look like. Been to. I've been waiting here for an hour. Well, yeah, I took Rachel to meet the kids. You took her to see the kids. Honey, say hi hey, much. hello. <laughs> hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Did you get down here okay? Were the directions okay? Uh, they were perfect. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Huh? Hey, let me get you ladies something cold to drink. Oh, sweetheart, thank you so much for the flowers. Mm, glad you like them. Love you. What would you like to have, Rachel? If you have any bottled water. Is Sprite okay? Sure. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna have myself a beer. Best thing there is for a thirst. I made lemonade, Al. You sure you don't want one, Rachel? Oh, no, thank you. If I had a beer in the afternoon, I'd just go right to sleep. Well, that don't matter. You can take a nap here if you'd like. Uh, Al, she don't want a beer. <laughs> Oh, honey, let me get you a seat. Oh, oh thank you. Here we go. So I understand you and your husband are in the movie business? Uh, yes, I'm in development. Oh, uh -huh. your husband do that, too? Um, no, no, he's in business affairs. Oh. You know, I went to Los Angeles once. Tell me about that. Yeah, a friend of mine out there was in the music business, and oh. he was interested in making a record with me. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Of course, he wanted Al to put up half the money. Well, that's called investing, babe. You know, we didn't have nothing to invest. Well, do you sing, Al? Oh. <laughs> Pitch my pipes here and there. Al, oh. come on. Al has his own band. He's playing down at Hoochie's tonight. You and your husband should come. Oh, we'd love to. Okay. Oh, well, okay. good. Okay, great. <laughs> Al has real talent. Okay. 
You do, baby. Okay. Patricia has musical talent, too. Oh, oh really? <gasps> she's in the Glee real. Club. Yeah. yeah, we want to give her piano lessons. But I think she'd have a real feel for it. Well, hey, why don't we give Patricia to Rachel, too? We'll make it a two-for-one deal. Well, that's not funny, Al. Hi, you want me to put some ice in your glass for you? Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. That'd be great. So, Al, do you have any brothers or sisters? Uh, four sisters, three brothers. You mean there are eight of you? Yeah. Oh, how did you manage? We worked. Hmm. That's why Al couldn't finish high school. So. Well, thank you for telling her that. Oh, no, she already knew that. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, the lawyer told us. You know, you know, I can understand those circumstances. I mean, this day and age, it's very easy to become a dropout. And oh, there's... yeah, you didn't have a chance. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't that bad. Well, your mama yeah. couldn't hand you. I mean, she was too spent for making ends meet. She got through it. Yeah, but she's got a sadness, Al. Oh, honey, who don't? Hell, I bet even folks in Los Angeles got a sadness. How about it, Rachel? You got any sadness? Yeah, come on. <laughs> no, I'll bet she does. Every woman's got a little sadness. It's what makes them so pretty. Am I right? Oh, I don't know, Al. Never really thought about it. Baby, why don't you turn up the fan for Rachel? You know, honey, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> Let's just move outside. Hi, that's Let's a great move idea, Move outside. Good idea. I'm just gonna go to the little girl's room when a baby's sitting on your bladder makes you calls all day long. Huh? <sighs> there you go. Thank you. Excuse me. <sighs> Sit out here and catch a breeze. Oh, thank you. Oh, excuse oh, me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, Al, Wanda tells me that you didn't have enough money for the air conditioner. Have you priced a couple? Yeah, of there was several models that I looked at, but you see, the problem is voltage. Uh, we don't have enough voltage here to accommodate a regular unit, so we need to get a generator. Oh, oh, I see. Well, have you been able to price a couple of those? Well, yeah, they run about four or five hundred dollars a piece for the good ones, and the air conditioner runs about the same. Well, how much more do you think you'll Al? need? You want some coffee? Not now. Okay, Rachel. Oh no, thank you. Well, I'm gonna make some for myself. Baby makes me sleepy this time of day. So. so anyway, we kept what you gave us, minus the $30 for the fan, and I had to make an emergency repair on my truck. That took us back about $80. Al, that money was supposed to be for an air conditioner. I know, but the uh, brake pads was worn. It was getting real dangerous, and I figured you wouldn't want me to be driving Wanda under conditions like that. You know, I really should have my lawyer deal with this. Oh, well, hey. If you don't believe me. Oh, I, oh I no, 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 that. no, of course. No, of course not. Of course I believe you. I believe it's you. Okay. I it's believe okay. you. I'll just make out a check for six hundred dollars. Would that be enough? Hmm. Uh yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it will. Get my purse. Excuse me. Uh, Al explained to me about the air conditioner, so I'm just going to write you out another check. Mm. Thank you. Wanda, have mm -hmm. you talked to Dr. Selby about drinking coffee? Uh-huh. And what did he say? Oh, well, he said I could have it in moderation, you know. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, he didn't say just decaf, you can drink regular tea? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hi, Daddy. How you doing? I'm good. Well, that should cover it. Actually, uh, 
our bank account's under my name, and it'll be a lot easier to cash it if it's made out to me. Well, I'm supposed to make all the checks out to Wanda. It's, it's been a real hassle, mm -hmm. you know, depositing, switching the money around, all that. It, it would just be easier. I'm sure, but I have to make them out to Wanda. It's just the rules, honey. <laughs> I'm her husband. Yeah, I understand, Al. But hey, we're all new at this, and... There's just bound to be some misunderstandings, and that's why we had our lawyer, Ron, set up a system so we could all handle this. Al, you okay with this? Oh. Daddy, you want me to make you something, eh? Well, I'm gonna go. Okay. So, Richard and I will meet you for dinner tonight, say around 7 o'clock? Well, that sounds fine. We'll see you then. Great. See you later, Al. Uh, yeah, I look forward to it. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. We have to be very careful with how involved we get with these people. Let's try to keep the conversation neutral. What's that supposed to mean? I don't think they need to know the details of our lives. You don't know what they might do with that information. Fine. Just a thought. I said fine. I could With Miss Simba. Yeah. They brought their kids? Mm. Their kids know about this? I don't think so. Hi. Hey. Hi. Good to see Al, you. Nice to see you again. Hello. Wanda, how are hey. you? Richard well, Luckman. Come down, Richard. Richard, this is Wanda. Well, hi. Hi. You're the kids. Well, nice to meet you, too. Sorry we had to bring the kids. My mama had bingo tonight. Oh, no hey. Hi, guys. Richard, this is the brood. This is Brian. Hi. And Patricia. Hello, Patricia. And Kim and our baby, Hello. Robbie. Hey, Robbie. <laughs> Say hi. 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 He gets a little fussy when he hadn't had his naps. I understand. I'm the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was telling Patricia how uh, y'all are friends of my buddy Rudy in Los Angeles. Uh, Rudy, yeah. Yeah, Patricia. I was telling Richard, my husband, what a wonderful athlete you are. Oh well, I'm not that good. Oh sure you are, honey. Oh, good Lord, she can run faster than any boy her age. I used to run slower than all the girls, so there you go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Al, I'm thinking of ordering a beer. How about you? Oh, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> any music we're listening to started right here in Louisiana. Nashville, that was just a sorry afterthought. Yeah, Carl Perkins, Jerry Lee, yeah. thank you. Um, Hank Williams, Sr., you know, my daddy played with Hank. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. they was on the hayride together, and Hank borrowed daddy once uh, to fill in when his uh, lead guitar went off and got married. Get out of here. What's your father's name? Al LaFoe Sr. I mean, no one you'd know, but... Al, come on. Yeah. His daddy made a yeah. record. Yeah, but it's just the flip side of a 45. <laughs> That's still something. Yeah, it was a real good song. It should have been on the A side, but... Uh, well, yeah, Al's daddy didn't have nobody push for him. Daddy was just more interested in having a good time. <laughs> yeah. I keep telling Al he needs to get a manager. I got Buddy. Ow. How many times? <laughs> what? All Buddy does is book you into Shh. bars so he can get free drinks. That's showbiz. You know, Al is the most talented person I know. Yeah, but honey, who do you know? <laughs> you still have it? Your father's record? Yeah, I got a stash somewhere. I'd love to hear it. Maybe you can make a copy of it for us. Mm -hmm. Might be a nice idea to have for... Mm -hmm. Anyway. I'd love to hear it. You know, uh, Al's been teaching Patricia to sing. He's been starting her on church songs because that's what his daddy did with him. She's got a real pretty voice. You do, sugar. You want to sing something for us? Oh, come on. Is she shook? Mm -hmm. Come on. Boogie, come on. Come over oh, here. Come on. Your sister's coming, son. Come on, darling. There's a church in the valley by the wild wood. No lovelier place in the dell. No spot is so dear to my childhood as a little brown church.
church in the veil. Oh, come, 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 come to the church in the wildwood. Oh, come to the church in the dale. No spot is so dear to my childhood as the little brown church in the veil. That was real pretty, honey. First one was uh, I was about three months pregnant, and um, mind you, this was after <laughs> the most elaborate insemination. Uh, they took the eggs out of me, they put the eggs back into me, they shot me with the urine of Italian nun. Please <gasps> don't ask. And uh, anyway, it was my niece's fourth birthday, and I'm sitting there watching all these little guys running around, and I'm saying to myself, ooh, it's gonna be one of mine someday soon, you know, yeah, yeah. And uh, I started to get cramps. And <laughs> we're in this park where the only place you can go is one of those public restrooms. Oh. I mean, what a mess. There's no toilet paper, no toilet seats. I mean, and by the way, so I go into the only stall that has a door on it. And, um, um, well, let's not go into details, but let's just say that everything that was inside me is now in the toilet. And, um, I'm sitting there staring at it. My pants are around my ankles, and, um, uh, this wad of Kleenex between my legs. And anyway, I hear this little rap on the door. This little voice says, Aunt Rachel, Aunt Rachel, I gotta pee. <laughs> I say, honey, I'm really sorry, but you're gonna have to go to one of the other toilets. And she says, I can't. They don't have any doors. Someone might see my Virginia. <laughs> oh. Kids. No, you are something. Which one of you is the one that can't have the baby? Wow. Gee, Al, you're getting kind of personal. Well, gee, Richard, you know everything there is to know about us. Only fair we know what the deal is with y'all. I understand your point. But that's just not something I'm going to discuss. Is she the one? Is she the one that can't reproduce? What's wrong with you? I'm not going to get into that. You know what? I think it's a plus. You? Yeah? And how is that? What seems like uh, all I have to do is, is just look at my wife. The next thing you know, she's big as a house. But you, <laughs> you do whatever you want 
with your wife any time and never even think twice about it? Oh, well, person, I think you're lucky. <laughs> well, that's another way of looking yeah. at it. Yeah, yeah. And she is a good-looking woman, your, your wife. You know? Yes, she is. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I wish I'd never gotten Wanda pregnant. Oh, I mean, I love my kids. They're a pain in the neck sometimes. But they're my heart. And, um, you know, this one you're getting, I, mean, I hope you be good to her, you know, give her what she wants. Hey, hey. You don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna spoil her rotten. But you know what? When she gets older, gotta keep an eye on her. Hey, Patricia? Well, she's already drawing interest, you know? And, and I told her, any guy even look at you the wrong way? I'm gonna kick his butt into the next county. Believe me, I won't let her out of my sight. I know she'll hate me for it. Hey, that don't matter. <laughs> You got to do it. Don't give in. Absolutely not. I don't care if she gets mad at me. She'll thank me for it later on. That's right. Excuse me. I gotta take a leak. Wanda, we have a doctor's appointment today. Oh, right. Um, oh, I, I, I can't. Uh, my mom's going somewhere with her boyfriend, so I gotta take the kids. No, your doctor's help me made a special effort to get you an appointment today. Well, look, Rachel, what am I gonna do? What, what am I gonna do with the kids? Can't Al look after them? Al's sleeping. Oh, maybe I can get a neighbor to do something. Um, what time's the pond? It's in uh, 40 minutes. Well, can you drive me over to take the kids? Fine. Hey, um, you got pool over at the motel? Find it's raining. We'll clear up, Rachel. <laughs> I'm so glad we had this time together. And thank you so much for the dinner and the swing oh, and everything. No, I enjoyed it. Well, you know, I thought I should stay over another day so, so we could see Dr. Selby tomorrow. Well, if you want to, I've been seeing him fine on my own. Well, I thought we should see him together. Don't worry, I won't mess up your baby. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. Well, that's what it sounds like. Hey, where are you all been to, huh? Had to pick up the kids, Al. Mm. How you doing, Rachel? Uh, I'm all right. Are hey, you gonna make some lunch? Can't right now, Al. Well, I can wait. I'm gonna go. All right. So I don't even know if Dr. Selby can see us tomorrow, so I'll call you later, let you know. 
Can I call you? Is your phone not working again? Well, you know, off and on. I thought we gave you money to pay the phone bill. What happened to the money, Wanda? We had some unforeseen difficulties. Had to shift some of the money around. Al, let me just tell her. My mama had some trouble writing some bad checks. We had to use the money for bail, and we figured it was all right since she helps with the kids and all. No, it's not all right. Hey, she got a problem. I'll go get my wallet and mm -hmm. back right now. No, Al, that's not the point. What is the point? The point is that I'm getting this feeling that you both have this image of me and Richard, this image of us being these wealthy people with an unlimited supply of money and whether that's true or not it's not the point your one keeps offering to pay for things the point is they're starting to feel used i love this baby this baby means a great deal to me and i don't like to think that she's being used as a bargaining tool oh you kiss my ass don't tell me you love this baby. You won't even know this baby until I give her to you. This is my baby, and don't you ever forget it. Then treat that baby right! For God's sake! Why are you putting all that crap in your oh, body? You say, it ain't your oh, business. Oh, she's smoking, what? she's drinking coffee. For sure. God's sake! Said I could. Oh, bullshit, Wanda! That is not true! What is wrong with you? Do you live in some box? I know you watch TV. You see these reports. Or do you not care because you're giving this baby to someone else? Fuck Ooh. you! Ooh. Fuck you, lady! You think I'm such trash that I kill my own babies? Huh? Huh? Don't go crying to me about money! You got money. You got plenty of money. Because whatever you can't do as a woman, you can just go out and buy it! Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on, she ain't worth it, darling. Rachel. I'm sorry for what I said. I didn't mean it. Please don't be mad at me. Get upset. Start mouthing off. I don't know what I'm saying. Want to come back in? I need to talk to Rachel. Ain't nothing more to talk about. Come on in. I didn't mean to yell at you. Please don't be mad. I'm not mad. I'm very sorry. I don't know what we were all thinking of, but it's obviously not going to work out. So I'd like to pay for your uh, health care and the rest of your hospital bills. And that's the way I'd like to settle it. No, I want you to have the baby. Wanda, she don't want it. Rachel, please just come on out and let's talk. Come on. Al, just go inside. I want to be alone with Rachel for a minute. Why, I can't do this. Why not? Because she's changed her mind. Al, shut up! I can't take your baby. You're too conflicted about this, Wanda. No, no, I'm not. No, I made up my mind. Wanda, it's over. She don't want it. Let's go. Yes, she does, Al. Will you just shut up for a minute? Hey. God! Don't say shut up to me. God damn it, Al. That it hurts. God damn it. I'm sorry. How dare you? How dare you hit a pregnant woman? She's okay. Yeah, I'm all right. Come on, Betty. Just go for a ride somewhere, okay? Go off. Please. Wanda, you're right. 
Yeah, I'm all right. <sighs> he doesn't hit hard, it's all for show. Well, you want me to drive you and the kids back to the motel? No, my mama and her boyfriend was gonna come over later. We were gonna barbecue with some hot dogs and things. <sighs> Does he hit the children? I don't know. I'm not at a meanness. It's not genetic or nothing. It's just how he was raised. Doesn't matter where a baby comes from. You can make him turn out however you want to. Brand new baby's too excited to be alive. To care about what was going on when it's sitting inside its mom's belly. her legs. <sighs> Getting a visa long, she's running out of room in there. Oh, Rachel. Feel. <sighs> she's kicking you, feel it? Mm -hmm. I think she knows where she's going. Because I dream about it at night. I keep seeing this little girl at a birthday party. She's dancing around a great big birthday cake and everybody's looking at her, having a big old time. And then they sing the happy birthday song. I never hear what her name is when they sing it at the end. You picked out a name for her yet? Yeah. Well, if you want to, you can talk to her and tell her her name. They made it into this whole mystique. You hold her in your arms with a bottle. It's all the same thing. You don't need teeth marks on your nipples to bond with your baby. This is the birth sister? Yes. God, Richard. I know. This is with the same father? Yeah, as far as I know. Can you have your hands full? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to have my hands full right here. <laughs> Time to sing and time to shout, time to warn what it's all about. It's a hurry. 
You gotta call Rachel and Nia. You got a woman's name. Bye, Mama. Do? Don't worry. That a Yes. I accept charges. Hello? Oh my god. Richard! We're gonna make it. Excuse us. Excuse us. Come on. I see daylight. Let's go. We're almost there. Whoa. Thank you. Sir, I can take some of these bags for you and have them checked in. We can't. We won't have time to wait for our baggage. I'm sorry, sir. We only allow two carry-ons per passenger. Look, our baby is about to be born, so we can't be standing at the carousel for 40 fucking minutes waiting for our bags Richard, to arrive. Richard. We'll pay for an extra seat if we have to, but please, if you have any humanity at all, don't make my wife miss cutting the cord because of some fucking airline regulation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Where are we going? No, where are we going? Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's head this way, I guess. Richard, Rachel. Hey, hey guys. Uh, how you doing? Hi. Jazz? Oh, oh yeah, sure, uh, sure. Wanda? She's fine. In delivery. Where are we going? Uh, right this way. They're going to get you ready and take you in. Oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, give me the bags. Uh, no. Give me the bags. Did you order flowers? Done. Okay, and uh, where are you going? We'll be in Wanda's room. Oh, you want this room. Oh, I love mm. you. Mm. I love you back. Go, yeah. go. Okay. Go, 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 go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? I love you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Go, go. Ah. Gonna be your father. So how was your flight? Don't ask. We were on the runway for half an hour. Don't ask. So you were in New York? New Haven. We had a birth for some other clients. Two gay ladies live in Manhattan. Birth mother's a college girl. Single, pre-med, goes to Yale. Oh, really? Here we are. I think we could have chosen a hospital that was a little more secular. It was either this or county. Well, this is a nice room. The best in the area. I can see that. So, um, did Wanda's husband call you about this car thing? Yeah, I think at this point the only thing we do is just play him off. He has to give consent? Legally, yes. So he's got me by the balls? I want this thing out. It's getting in my way. Don't worry, I'll make sure it doesn't. Uh, I've never had nothing like that before. I know, just gotta bear with it, honey. <sighs> this other girl, was she available while we were looking? Which one? The one you just told me about that went to the two women. Yeah, I think she was. Why didn't you tell us about her? She was too short. Uh, remember you and Rachel told me? Right, no, I'm I real remember. careful if my clients No, I understand. How tall is she? Four foot eleven. Oh, no, that's way... Richard, you're gonna have a beautiful child. No, we're very happy. <sighs> What's that noise? It's baby's heartbeat, huh? I can't listen to it anymore. It's making me nuts. But couldn't you turn it down just a little bit? It's clearly making her very unhappy. Well, we're not supposed to, but I can turn it down for just a little bit. This is your custody agreement, your interstate compact agreement, and your California state compact agreement. Awana and her husband can't sign the contracts for another five days. Of course, why should it be easy? Louisiana laws are a bitch. That's why I want to move her to another state. I know, I know. Rachel didn't like the idea. Hi, Al. Hello. Hi, Al. Ron Calloway, we talk on the phone. Oh, oh how are you? Good. Good to see you again, Al. Good to see you, Richard. What can we do for you? Oh, just came by to bring one to her bag. Oh, I'll take it. So what's going on? What part's she at? She's still in labor. Oh. Hmm. We should get some coffee. Is there someone around who can get some coffee? Yeah, there's a coffee machine right down the hall. Terrific. What do you like in yours, Al? Uh, milk. Huh? Black will be fine. Don't worry, man. I've got it. It's all right. All right. I can pay for my own. Those the contracts? Yeah, yeah, they are. Can I look at them? Oh, sure, sure. 
We're going to have someone go over all this with you, you know, explain what's in there. I can read. <laughs> That's not what I meant. That legalese can be pretty dense. I think I can handle it. Okay. Take it slow. That's a girl. That's a girl. Bane. You're doing well, Wanda. You're doing really well. Oh. Huh? I think you want to stay out of her way. Richard, I was just telling Al that I think the uh, five-day waiting period is a very healthy part of the contract. Right, absolutely. I'm all for it. As long as it's understood, Al, that after that five-day period, if you still don't sign the papers, Richard and Rachel are under no obligation to care for either Wanda or the child. Well, you were for that. Oh, I'm also aware that I don't have to sign anything until I'm certain that Wanda's postnatal needs will be met. Absolutely. Richard? I'm in total agreement. Doctor's coming real soon, honey. He'll see what he can do for you. I can do it myself. I know you can, honey. There's no shame in getting a little help. Let's also stay aware that Richard and Rachel cannot be held responsible for any non-postnatal well, needs. that depends on what you consider a non-postnatal need. Several things. Whoa, whoa, let's back up. Besides medical care, what else do you project that you'll need? We need a car. Absolutely not. How am I supposed to get Wanda to her postnatal care? Don't dick around with me, Al. You want transportation, I'll kick in for a rental. But no way am I going to buy you a brand new car. And if you push it, if you push it, my friend, I'll end it now, and you can pay for the fucking hospital bill. Shit. You already put down a bunch of money. You ain't going to go to someone Excuse else. Excuse me, all this over isn't again. a deal here. Then we're talking about a baby. Where the fuck is your humanity? You want to talk about humanity, mister? Let's talk about the fact that I'm too poor to keep my baby. Let's talk about the fact that you came to my wife and your you wife made came a deal. to us. Made a deal? What the fuck are all these contracts about, huh? How come you're bringing your sister lawyer to wait the judge? Wait a minute. Fuck you. You're making more money off you're this the one than you're making out of this, my I friend. get nothing. I get nothing. You're trying to get as much out of us as you can, then you're gonna call it off. Hey, let's see if we can get a car out of the poor dumb fox. We don't operate that way, Mister. I mean, maybe that's the way you use and all these things. Yeah. Us Stop it! Stop it! Come on! Richard! 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 Stop it, you guys! Come on, now break it up! This is Break it up! Come on! Gentlemen! What's going on in here? Uh, sorry, sister. It's uh, Everything's under control. If this continues, I'll have to call security. No, we, we apologize. Uh, it won't happen again. What can I say? You'll always have the advantage over me, my friend. You have the ability to make life. Whatever he wants, work it out with him. Looks like you're pretty far along, huh? Why is it, Monica? I'm sorry, Doctor. She's still fighting me, Doctor, but I've been checking it every 10 minutes. I wonder we're going to try to move this along for you. Lie back, on. Lie, Lie back. back. I need you to give me a push. Kia. Uh, give me a push. I can't. Hand me the forceps. No, wait. I can do it myself. Don't. No, I don't want forceps. Please, I can do it myself. And Wanda, we got to get this baby. No! I need you to lie real still for me. That's good. All right, that is now. Ow! Still for me. Real still. That's a girl. Relax. Breathe. That's it. All right, that's good. Oh, good girl. Yes. That's it. Again. Yes. Oh, go, go. All right, help me with this cord. Yeah. Okay, Wanda, uh, give me a big push. That's good, honey. Get out! Why is the baby crying? Hold on, hon. We're trying to find out. She should be crying. The baby should be crying. Oh, <sighs> 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 
Sparkles, honey, you hear that? You cry, darling, you cry. That's good. I think we're gonna be all right now. Let him get through. Let him get through. Wanda, I'm gonna be back in a minute, stitch you up, clean you up, get you back to your room. You did real good, darling. Rachel, mm -hmm. we're gonna take the baby up to the ICU and make mm -hmm. sure she's stabilized. Why don't you come on with us? Should I go? Go on. <sighs> okay. because my tires are shot. We'll figure 100 apiece, 125 to be safe. You go sign to that? Yeah. They're gonna have something for the baby, some sort of record of us for when she's old enough to know. Yes, they are. Would you give them a picture of me to put in the file? Of course. Your driver's license? It's expired. Thanks, Tell Helen. Wanda I'll be by later. Well, it's all set. Could you give me a second? Sure. I still need a second. Want me to leave? No, no, no. I'll, I'll be all right. I'm all right. I was thinking my parents, as crazy as their marriage was, you know what they did when they wanted to have a child? My father would take my mother to a supper club. They'd have a nice dinner, maybe a little champagne to get my mother silly. And the band would start in. And my father, with his enormous belly, would take her around the dance floor until she fell in love with him all over again. Then he'd take her back to their home, to their bed. And together, they made a baby. He didn't have to drive himself to a lab on his lunch hour and spill himself into a plastic cup. Richard, this is the hardest part. I promise you'll have no more dealings. I'll be all right. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Did you check? Yes, I did. There's no one to look at this hospital. Well, where in the hell is she? She can't have her baby in a ditch. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. She's so beautiful. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, hi. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We've got a girl. We should have cigars. Why don't we bring the cameras? We should have brought our cameras. Can I see her now? Let's go. Can I see her now? It'd be great. She's been intense care for a little while. Why? What's wrong? What happened? When Wanda was pushing, trying to get the baby out, the cord got wrapped around her neck so the oxygen couldn't get through. It's like a hose that gets bent and water can't get through. Oh, my. Is she going to be all right? Yeah, she's breathing on her own now. She's going to be fine. Oh, thank God. So <laughs> she's going to be all right. Richard, there is a chance that there might be some damage. What kind of damage? Development damage. Well, what does that mean? She may have some mental impairment. Or she could be perfectly normal, right? You mean that she could be retarded? No, she could be perfectly normal, or she could... Look, please, can we just see her? Rachel. Please, we just see the baby. I'm sorry. Intensive care is closed until morning. I'd bend the rules and get you up there if I could, but we got a lot of other babies. Well, what about tests? Couldn't you run some tests? We have, but there's nothing definitive yet. Well, what are her chances? Can you give us uh, some percentages? You really can't with something like this. But you've seen her. Does she look normal to you? Physically, yes. So then she's going to be fine. I really can't answer that question. Sure you can. No one's going to sue you for having an opinion, for God's sakes. Uh... I'm sorry, Doctor. Uh, I hate to do this, but I have to get to another delivery. I'll be here all night if you want to talk. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. You know, I think this is a good time to take a break. Yeah, I agree. Um, honey, we're both exhausted. Maybe we should go back to the hotel and get some sleep, and then we could uh, come back in the morning and decide what to do. Decide what to do about what? Honey, we have to think about this. This child could have some very big problems. But we don't know that. I think what Richard is trying to do is go over all the possibilities. Richard, this is our baby. Honey, I, I know that, but what if the damage is severe? Then we just take it from there. I don't know if I can do that. What are you saying? Let me see if there's some place where we can talk. Rachel. I'm sorry. I know. Uh, I'm sorry. I just went. I have to be by myself. Miss LeBron. Rachel. She's in room 305, ma'am. I'll connect you. Hello? Yeah, Mom, it's me. Honey, I'm not saying that it's over. I'm saying, why should we jump into something and have our hearts broken even more? We can't just walk out. I made a promise to Wanda. Rachel, they could have taken this baby away from us at any time. Any time. Do you think the baby was ever really ours? Just so you know, if nothing aside. <laughs> what are you saying, we don't have to take her? That's correct. We can't just abandon her. This is still alive. I don't think it would be considered abandonment. The child still has its natural parents. What if they don't take her? Should we put up for adoption? Well, who's going to take a child like this? She should be surprised. There's all kinds of couples that take in kids with special needs. There's a couple I read about with a ranch. They devote their lives. 60 Minutes did a thing on it. That's right. We saw it. Richard, for God's sake. Think about all of the heartache and the worrying and all the crap these two people put us through. I put up with it because we were going to have joy at the end of it. I'm afraid there won't be any joy with a child like this. We all know that. But what if? Rachel, what if? But she has a soul, Richard. This is a child we could love.
I can't raise this child alone. I know. And I don't want her to be a stranger to you. I, I can't allow that. I know. to me. She looked into my face. Oh, Rachel. I smell her skin. She has a name, Richard. We gave her a name. Rachel, please. No. Please. When we talked about having a child, what did we talk about? We didn't talk about having a genius. We talked about having a regular no, kid no. who would take walks with us no, we have and, a child. and ask a million questions. We have a child. This child is real. This other child doesn't exist. Oh, Rachel. I fell for a breath. I can't do it, Rachel. I can't do it. I can't do it. You got school today. I want to see the new baby. Baby died and went to Jesus, honey. Come on, let's get going. You can't be late. I have a girl in Virginia. She's due in less than two weeks. She's single, 18, a receptionist, very bright. The boyfriend who's the father is a college graduate. In fact, I think I have a picture of her. The couple I had just pulled out. She had an abnail. Very healthy, vegetarian. Could Rachel and I be alone for a minute? Of course, of course. What do you want to do? I don't know. Do you want to look at this? You can take your flowers back if you want. What? Uh, I, I wouldn't do that. Not unless you wanted me to. I take flowers at the chapel, so... Okay. I'll take care of it before I go. Are you going to keep the baby? What time's your airplane leave? Wanda, let me help you keep your child. How are you gonna do that? Huh? You gonna buy her a bunch of clothes? You gonna send her to a special school? Find her a room to sleep in? Okay. You do that. And what about my other kids? What am I supposed to do about the rest of my kids, huh? You can't fix this, Rachel. There ain't nothing you can fix here. Just go. Go on on.
Oh. oh hey. Hi. I didn't know if you'd still be here. Um, brought my daddy's record. I thought, uh, you might want to have it to play for when she's grown. Oh, how? Uh, <clears throat> that's real nice of you, honey. Why don't you take it, Rachel? Oh, thank you, Al, but you know, uh, I really, I, I think some of your other kids would really want to have this. Why don't you just take it, and then you can make a copy and send it back? Please. Just take it. How empty my belly is. I've never noticed that before. You know how I like to take naps with the baby right on my belly. Feel my belly, honey. There ain't nothing there. Oh. 